Hi, I am Professor Francisco F. Magpantay Jr. and I am the Vice President of Academic Affairs of La Concepcion College. Ang video ito ay yung unang episode ng online class tutorial series na inihanda ng pamunuan ng La Concepcion College para tulungan ang ating mga students, teachers, parents, and guardians na magkaroon ng isang smooth delivery para sa isang online class. Ang online class ay isa sa mga iba't ibang instructional delivery options na available para ngayong taon na parte ng flexible teaching learning delivery ngayong school year 2020-2021. At sa episode na to, ang pag-uusapan natin patungkol sa isang online class ay ang paggawa ng isang Google account. Ngayon, alamin natin kung ano ba ang isang Google account. As mentioned, ang episode na to ay nakafocus lamang sa isang Google account. Ang Google account ay importante para maka-access tayo ng iba't ibang tools at software na importante para sa ating delivery at pag-access ng isang online class. Ngayon, ang pag tayo ay meron na tayong access sa isang Google account, magkakaroon tayo ng access sa isang iba't ibang Google products. At ang Google products na available na maaari natin nagamit sa isang online class ay Google Search, Gmail, YouTube, at Google Meet. Para sa session na to, ang gagawin natin ay magkakaroon tayo ng live demonstration kung saan gagamit ako ng isang mobile device para ipakita na ang mobile device ay sapat na para gamitin sa isang online class. Ngayon, kung makikita natin ang aking screen, makikita natin dito sa aking bandang kaliwa, nandito yung ating notes para sa ating presentation, at dito naman sa bandang kanan ay isang screen mirror sa aking mobile phone. Ang mobile phone na ginagamit ko ay iOS or iPhone, pero pwede rin naman similar din ang process na gagawin natin para sa isang Android or sa kung ano pa mang software na ginagamit ng cellphone mo. Ngayon, kung titignan natin, ang ating cellphone, so I will just first adjust the screen para makita natin ng maayos kung ano ba yung nilalaman ng isang Uh, tutorial para sa iPhone. So, here, again, sa kaliwa, nandito yung ating mga steps. So, hahatiin natin ang ating tutorial sa apat na steps. At ang unang step natin doon, para makabuo tayo ng isang Google account, para maka-access maka tayo ng iba't ibang Google products, we just have to first visit the uh, link or the URL using our browser whether desktop or cell phone, just type in accounts.google.com slash sign up. So, dito sa aking cell phone, kung makikita natin sa cell phone ko, ang gagamitin ko ay ang Google Chrome. So, itong Google Chrome sa ibaba na to. So, itong ibaba na ito, so para mas makita natin, I will zoom in. So, this part uh, of my phone here, ito yung gagamit i-click ko para maka-access ako sa browser. Kasi ito yung browser na ginagamit ko sa cellphone ko. So, I just have to type in on my address bar, accounts.google.com slash sign up. So, as mentioned, dito lang natin ita-type yung uh, sa taas na to, yung accounts uh, slash sign in. There, dito natin makikita yung ita-type natin. So, next, kapag nagawa na natin yun, uh, it will lead us to the landing page in signing up for a Google account. So, for a, uh, for a desktop version, ganito yung magiging itsura. Kung makikita natin, similar lang din siya sa isang mobile device. So, that's why that's, I'm 
trying to reiterate at uulitin ko na pwede natin gamitin ng phone natin sa pag-access or pag-create ng Google account. So as mentioned, in our uh, instructions here, we just have to encode accurate information such as our name, username or the email handle and password. So kanina, nakapag-prepare na ako dito sa cellphone ko, nakapaglagay na ako ng name. Nakapaglagay na rin ako ng uh, email handle or username na gagamitin ko at password. So kung titignan natin, you just have to provide, of course, the accurate name needed for the Google account. So Google account is just asking for your first name and last name. So I place there my first name and then my last name. For the username, you are free to use letters, numbers, and periods, and other characters. So for the purpose here, uh, what I use uh, is period. So period yung ginamit ko, then magpantay, then 2020 numbers. So bawal magkaroon ng space and it's not case sensitive. So important and always small letters yung ilalagay natin. At hindi na natin kailangan ilagay yung at. Bawal yung character na at kasi nakadiktong na dito yung at gmail.com. So again, let's reiterate, the characters only accepted for the limitation of making a, 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 making a, an address for uh, making an, a, an account is letters, numbers, and period. So you just have to encode your password. For the restriction naman ng password, eight characters or more. So make sure that your password is strong enough para mas maging secure yung ating account. Then we just have to click on next. Now, after natin mag-click ng next, let's proceed to step number two. So for step number two, it is asking for you or the user to provide the birthday and gender. So now, kung titignan natin, may mga optional information hinihingi. So the optional information being ask or rec uh, recovery email address or mobile number. But for the purpose of the tutorial, since it's qualified here as optional, hindi na natin siya ilalagay. Ano ba ang purpose? Bakit natin kailangan ilagay itong mga optional na information na ito? Kapag nilagay natin to, it will make our account more secure and more useful in cases na magkaroon ng mga breach of your account para ma-recover natin kung in case may mga hack. So for the purpose of tutorial, hindi ko na siya ilalagay. So, naglagay na rin ako dito ng birthday. So, now, ang nilagay kong birthday, assuming that this is my uh, birthday, um, hindi ito yung birthday ko, but nilagay ko lang is August 25, 2008. So, as you can see, ang nilagay kong uh, year of birth dito is less than uh, making me below 13 years old. Ano ba yung rule kapag below 13 years old? Yun naman yung aalamin natin sa step 3. So for the purpose of step 2, i-click lang natin yung next. So for step 3, as mentioned, for step 3, if the student or the user encoding is below 13 years old, kailangan na dito ng parents and guardians para naman makapaglagay si parent at guardian ng kanyang active email account or mobile number to finish the sign-up process. So, kung makikita natin dito sa ating uh, gilid, uh, um, it's sure ng aking uh, account, it is asking for the uh, email address of the parent associated para... Uh, ma tapos yung pag sign up. So for the purpose of the tutorial, what I will do is I will be encoding my email address, my uh, legitimate email address para magtag as the parent. So I will just first encode my email address. And then I just have to click on next. Sabi sa ating instruction dito, uh, sa instruction natin dito, so kapag ikaw ay above 13 years old, you just have, you are directed right away to the uh, terms and conditions for you to agree with the privacy and terms and conditions of Google accounts. Mas mabilis. Uh, Iki-click mo lang, of course, ititik mo lang yung agree. But for the purpose of parent consent, um, mas maraming steps yung step 3 kasi kailangan i-link natin yung parental email address ng account para ma-link natin sa account ng student na bata. 
who is below 13 years old. So uh, here, uh, I just have to tick two boxes here, agreeing with the uh, privacy policy in terms and conditions of a Google account. Then I have just to click agree. So hindi pa tayo tapos dito because it is asking for me to in code the email address of the parent associated. So kung titignan natin to, may picture na ako dito sa taas kasi ito yung legitimate kong email address. So ito yung email address na nilagay ko kanina, which is this one. Uh, kung makikita nyo, ayan. Tapos nandito rin yung password. So for the purpose of uh, this tutorial, uh, I will be using my the password associated for uh, this one para ma-verify ko kung tama yung information na nakalagay, isisilipin ko lang kung tama yung uh, auto-generate na password. If not, papalitan ko. So now, I'm just updating the password associated with my legitimate Gmail account. There. So, kapag nilagay mo yung password ng Gmail account mo or email mo para sa parental consent, i-click mo lang yung next. So, if you click next, basically, Google account is trying to inform you that you will be the manager or the parental manager of the student. So, you just have to click next. To be followed by informing you that there will be, there will be a family group which wherein ikaw, yung account email ng parent associated will be the manager for the family account or for managing the student or the user who is below 30 years old. So you just have to click agree. Remember the we agree with the terms and conditions. Ito na yun. Ikaw yung nag agree on behalf of the uh, student or user who is below 30 years old. So you just have to click agree. Now, it led you to the page wherein ito yung kaninang entry information na nilagay ng user na below 13 years old. So, you just have to click next. Kino-confirm lang niya na ito yung information na in-encode. Kiklik lang yung next. And then there, the account is being created. Now, we proceed with step four. So, if you now created your account, so again, as mentioned for step three, um, for parental, uh, for users who are below 13 years old, kailangan natin ng parental assistance with their email address or phone number. And then to be followed by, if you are uh, more than 13 years old, you just have to click agree. So for step four, na create na account natin, ikiklik lang natin yung continue. There. So, congratulations. Welcome to your Google account. So, kung makikita natin sa taas, I receive a, a notification email on my legitimate account that someone used, uh, someone was added to my family being my, uh, under my supervision na minor or below 13 years old. So, kung titignan natin, uh, for a desktop device, ganito yung itsura. But for mobile, ganito yung itsura. Ngayon, uh, this F is the first initial of the letter. Normally, pwede natin to edit yung picture. Ikiklik lang natin yung uh, letter F na ito. This one. Your account. Your manage your account. But for the purpose, if you can see like here, see, na, na edit ko yung profile picture ko. This one. But for this one, uh, no, for this one, itong associated sa account, hindi natin may edit kasi below 13 years old siya. So, yun yung restriction. Now, if you are using a desktop device, kung titignan nyo tong red na to, yung grid icon na to, this one, if I will zoom this, here, yung grid icon na yan, kapag yan ay kinlik mo, it will lead you to the different Google products available. So, what are the different Google products available? So, there. So, these are the different Google products available for you. So, congratulations dahil pwede mo nang magamit at ma 
magamit ang iba't ibang Google products associated with your Google account. So, Google Search, Gmail, YouTube, Google Meet, Google Drive. So, kung mapapansin nyo, uh, if you are using uh, using um, desktop device, pwede mang i-rearrange to depending on the usage na commonly na ginagamit mo. But for the purpose of mobile device, you will be using an, uh, an application that you will install in your mobile phone. So, having that said, that ends the tutorial for making our making a Google account. So, this the slide presentation that I used for this session will also be uplate, uploaded on the comment box below, description box below, para makita niyo yung written uh, documentation on how to make a Google account. So, sana abangan pa natin yung iba pang tutorial na available na gagparte nitong online class tutorial series na meron tayo. So, I hope that we will be open-minded and accept the differences na magangyayari ngayong school year na to. So, we just have to learn. So, I hope nakatulong itong video na to. Kung hindi man, uh, mag-comment lang sa baba kung may tanong para masagot ko. So, yun lang. Take care and be safe. Bye!